Hey basketball coaches and basketball players, today I'm going to give you some corner pin down, four out, one in basketball plays that you can run with your basketball team. Let's get down to the clipboard, let's check these out. Some are going to be some only for man to man, while others are going to be for zones, while some are going to be able to be used for both. Let's get down, let's check these out. So first we're going to be running up against a man to man defense. Now what we're going to have is just a very simple play at first. We're going to have player 5 set a screen down for player 4. Player 4 is going to use that screen. He's going to pop up to the free throw line extended. Or he can attack or pop up to that, that free throw line or the elbow. So just for the sake of argument, I'm going to put him right in the middle. And we're going to have a pass to player 4. Now he could take that shot. He could also go in and cut and drive towards the basket which would then lead into a layup or he could collapse player three where he could kick out the ball to player three red for that three point shot. Now this also works really well against a zone defense. So against the 2-3 zone we'll still have that screen down but I want player four to for sure go towards the elbow. This is a very deadly spot for a zone because this is going to draw up the de the middle defender, especially if he's right on that elbow. Now, after this screen, I want to see a seal and roll towards the basket where this could be a high to low pass for an easy layup. This could also bring in player 3 as a defender where we could still kick out to player 3 red for that 3 point shot. Now. This next option, we're going to run it both against a 2-3 as well as a man-to-man. -man. It works for both. We're going to have a corner pinned down from player 5 as well as from player 2. Now, player 4, I want him to be again going towards that high post. And I want player 3 to be popping up roughly 45 degrees angle off of that elbow. Now, player 1 has an option to pass to player 3 or to player 4. Personally, I would like to have a pass to player 4 as our number one option. Our backup option is player 3 for the 3 point shot. Now if it goes to player 4, I still want to seal and roll towards the basket. However, I want to see a seal and roll towards the basket from player 2 as well. The reason? Because now, player 4 can have two options instead of one. He can pass to players 5 or 2. Also, if player 2 stays down low, player 4 could pass out to player 3 for a 3 point shot, but that is a bit more riskier. Now, this next one is against a man to man defense, and what we are going to have is player 5 setting a corner pin down for player 4, and we're going to have a screen from player 2 on player 1. Player 1 is going to use that screen, player 4 is going to use that screen, and we want player 2 to roll towards the basket. The idea here is for now player 1 having multiple options. He can pass into player 2 or kick over to player 4. Player 4 for a 3 point shot or to player 2 for a layup. If it goes to player 2 it could also collapse player 3 down where we could kick out to player 3 red for a 3 point shot. This time I want our center to start out on the corner. Now the reason for this is because I want to see player 2 setting a screen on player 5 and I want to see player 5 cut towards the basket instead of coming up towards that elbow. Now the idea behind this is if there is a switch there's going to be a mismatch down low and this is just a quick play that you could run possibly near the end of the game or near the end of a quarter. However if player 5 is not open what I want to see happen now is player 2 to clear out and I want to see player 5 set a screen for player 4 who will then screen down for player 3. At this point in time I want to see player 3 popping up and player 5 after that initial screen to roll across the key. Now player 1 has a couple of different decisions to make. He could hit up player 5 for the layup or he could hit up player 3 for the 3 point shot. Now this last play is a bit more difficult. Maybe I would reserve this one for the older high school teams, but this is still a very lucrative play that you could run against a man-to-man -man defense. Now in our final play, we're going up against a 3-2 zone defense. And what we're going to have in this, in this zone defense is the ball is going to dribble over towards this side. That's 
probably going to collapse those two zone players because that's the double team location. And now we're going to have a screen down for player two. Player two is going to be attacking that high post. And I really want him attacking the middle of that key so he can get that layup. Now that's going to for sure collapse that defense. And at this point in time, we're going to have player four most likely wide open. Now, for player four, he could hit that shot. But what I really want to see happen is him cutting baseline. Because when he's cutting baseline, especially if player 4 gets drawn out to player 2, this will be an easy layup for him. I hope that you've enjoyed these basketball plays. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.